Okay, so here is the uh, circuit for the auto start. Here we have uh, what would be the generator battery, uh, the Andorino board, and the call it the direction controller. It's really a relay that's switching between a uh, positive voltage and a negative voltage for the actuator. So the whole thing is uh, turned on or off by an RF relay. I'll put a link down below of all the various parts uh, that I acquired this little setup for. So you hit a button and um, it basically switches the, the ground connection to the battery to this uh, the coil of the relay. And then uh, the relay normally open goes um, to the closed position which passes this uh, 12 volts down to the Arduino board which is already connected to the negative side of the battery. Or, or case ground. Um, this is running a very, very simple code, uh, which I'll show here shortly. And basically, there's uh, three switches or four switches on this Ardu Arduino board. Uh, I've got two for the off circuit because of my generator requires the grounding of two different circuits. Uh, one of them is connected to the start switch uh, in the start position and the other the last uh, switch is for the uh, switch in the various directions of the uh, voltage output the polarity of the voltage output uh, so as soon as this guy is energized the board is energized and then the uh, directional relay is energized. The generator has to stay in the on position, which in this case uh, is not connected to anything. Uh, so what I did in the code was is I used the normally connected position for the off circuit. I have to ground those two circuits to ground out essentially the um, the the spark plugs and um, the igniter, I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, I have to ground two circuits. Uh, so when this board is powered down, these contacts relax and it's hardwired into these four pins on the generator. So when this guy dies, it removes power from him. They relax, they ground out, and the generator stops. So now I will... Um, go over the very basic code that is running in a um, IDE environment and it's just running a very very simple code based on the time logic there's no if statements there's no when statements or ors or ands or anything like that it's just basically time based uh, on when to throw these various uh, switches okay I just wanted to make real clear of these notes up here um, so the Arduino board doesn't really have good instructions as to which plug on the board is tied to which switch. So for uh, my connections in the code, uh, I had to have a, like a mental map of uh, what in the code, what number of the code is driving which relay or switch right here so in this case in the code the IDE code code 7 is relay it's really a switch uh, number one so that helped me make the map uh, to tell the code which switch to throw and which physical connection uh, that was connected to so for switch number one um, it's J1 on the board where the wires are actually physically connected and that is in the code as number seven in the code. Okay, here is the Arduino IDE. Uh, it's just basically a development environment and it's running, I guess, the language for Arduino. I'm not a programmer by trade. I'm basically avionics and aviation but I've had some very light exposure to Python 
Um, so anyway, this is Arduino IDE, and when you apparently when you have to, when you write the IDE script, you're gonna have void setup, you're gonna have void loop, and you're gonna have void stop. Anything in gray are just notes for you to understand what everything is assigned to. So again, pin mode seven, as we saw on the um, on the schematic here, uh, seven is relay or or switch number one. So <clears throat> so here I just make a, a a mental note that we're setting up the the pin modes that's on the physical board that's going to switch that switch and in this case it's relay one and relay one is physical connection is j1 on the board and then so on down the line so this is just setting up how the actual code which is inside loop is going to run um, so it's going to write uh, four which in this case is the ignition switch four and five so those are my two ignition off circuits that I have to ground. Uh, that is going to go to uh, normally um, to the normally closed position. So we're going to cut. We're going to cut that, and we're going to hold it to the normally open position so while this guy is powered up this is uh, coming up here so we're not making any connections to pin I, I G and E and F S and G so that'll run then we're gonna wait um, uh, one and a half seconds so these are always in milliseconds so 1500 milliseconds we're gonna kinda give it a pause just so that we can be in the on position, which is uh, not connected to anything physically on the generator. Uh, then we're going to run uh, six. We're going to activate six, which is relay number two on J J2 of the board. And we're going to run that for nine seconds. Now, I went kind of overboard on the actuator that I chose. Um, it's a, literally a nine second run out. Uh, it's really built for a solar array panel system to be moved as the sun uh, moves uh, over the overhead but I figured if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna use the actuator I'm gonna probably use the actuator in, in the future for a uh, solar system uh, we're gonna wait nine seconds for that and then we're gonna uh, use pin seven or number seven in the code which is relay one j1 and that's actually gonna be like cranking the switch over on the generator and uh, we're going to wait three seconds after the, uh, to crank. And then uh, once it cranks, it's going to set that low. So actually, we're going we're gonna to crank the engine here for two seconds. Uh, then we're going to stop cranking. We're going to wait three seconds for it to settle. And then we're going to run the actuator, which is running the choke, uh, the, the manual lever on the generator we're going to retract it so it uh, pulls the choke back off and then it's running and so until i hit the uh the key fob to de-energize this guy that's going to reconnect these two pins together to the normally closed and the generator will stop there'll be a link down below on on where to uh, download this Arduino IDE environment and basically it's just a USB connection to your computer to the board and uh, you basically check your code here it's going to compile the sketch checking for errors I'm not connected currently to the board uh, once you're connected you choose um, what port you physically have it connected to on your computer and then you just hit upload and it uploads it within like a second because it's a very very small code and that's it then you can start your test and that's what we'll uh, 
show you right now. Okay, test two. This is my uh, forward reverse controller. This is the wireless relay power supply, which would be the battery on the generator. And then the Arduino uh, board and, and base. Power is coming out of the power supply. And right now I've got it temporarily spliced like this, all going to the wireless relay. However, when I turn it on right now in this condition, the direction controller is going to turn on but on the generator this is going to be fed by the wireless relay so it won't be on on the generator even with the battery connected until i hit uh, this button all right so now we got the the actual actuator hooked up and right now what we'll see is we will see these two lights come on uh, which indicates that the start switch is in the on position then this light will light up which will drive the actuator to extend the choke control then this light will light up to indicate that the start switch is now in start and it will run for like three seconds then this guy will extinguish this will run for three seconds and extinguish then this guy will come back to him, he'll still be lit up, and then he will extinguish. He will then run backwards for the choke control, and then these two guys will remain on, which means that the start switch is in the on position. And per this drawing for the generator, on is nothing is connected until off, and then I've got to connect those pins in order to ground the um, the spark plugs and the coils so here goes nothing so this guy turns on but on the generator it won't turn on because of the way I have the splice set up so we will hit on Start switches in the on position. Actuator runs for 10 seconds. Turning over the engine. Stop turning over. Choke goes back in the full retract. And we're running until I hit this switch and then the starter circuit should ground out everything. Okay, test two. So I built the box, I've run the wires. I've got everything set up exactly how it would be on the generator. This would be the generator battery. This is the power supply. There's the actuator. Everything's wired wired up just as it would be on the generator first two lights are going to be the start switch on the generator going into the on position the next light will be the actuator being driven last light will be the generator being started then driving the actuator back to the full retract position and then these will stay on and the generator will stay running until I hit the off button. So here it goes. On. Here's starting the generator. Full retract on the actuator. Generator should be running by now. And it should be running until I hit the off button. All right, test number three. Uh, just the start test. I don't have the actuator connected. The actuator power lines are just kind of hanging out. That's okay, they're not touching anything. 
I've, uh, I think I've temporarily mounted this. It's just, um, it's, it's, it's not hook and loop or Velcro. It's, it's a little bit burlier than that. I use it on the RV. It's really good stuff, but I think this is just temporary, but it's on there pretty good. Um, all this stuff is going to get cleaned up. I've got the routing going through there, kind of temporarily zip tied. And they go into the uh, boot. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a boot that's going in behind the control panel and down to the battery. I've got it spliced into the, uh, into the start switch. I've got the start switch and on. Right now, the only signal wires I have connected is start. And uh, that is what these two wires are for. The rest of the signal wires, which is just the off signal, it's basically grounding out two circuits. That will be these four wires. And again, all this will be cleaned up, uh, conduit put in, and then routed permanently through this channel and zip tied uh, to this frame. But hopefully when I hit the on switch, she starts. I don't have the actuator hooked up so I'm gonna have to manually choke the engine and the only way to stop it right now because I don't have the off circuit is actually use the uh, the switch to ground out that circuit to kill the engine so we'll have about a nine second pause because the actuator is gonna try to run but it's not hooked up it's a nine second run out and then it should turn over so here goes nothing actuator